Yeah? Are you, yeah. You're, are you ready? <laughs> well, Cocodona 250, 2022. We're here in Prescott, Arizona, getting ready to start. This is the second year of the race. And uh, yeah, we're excited for a new adventure. And we're gonna get you started in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enjoy, folks. Oh, we're in a bit of a crowd because of the mass start this year. It's going to be a little while before we're all spread out. A couple weeks before the race was supposed to start, a fire on the southern part of the course caused a reroute. And so this year, we're actually starting in Prescott and doing a counterclockwise loop around town then heading out and doing a out and back to Skull Valley. Then we'll head back up and into Whiskey Row before we head out through the Granite Dells, cross Fane Ranch up and over Mingus Mountain, down to Jerome. We'll cross the Ferry Valley and head into the beautiful community of Sedona before we climb up onto the Coconino Plateau and then travel through the National Forest into Flagstaff. An epic journey of 250 miles that'll test us all. I was hoping I'd see you. Ten and a half miles in, getting pretty close to the first aid station, <clears throat> and the temperature is really warm. <sighs> All right, we just left the first aid station. We're about two hours and twenty-one minutes in. <sighs> we were just talking about how this Arizona dry climate really is something for us. Pacific Northwesterners. No kidding. No kidding, Dave says. No kidding. <clears throat> What's this? Let's dip it. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Three hours and 46 minutes in, 17 miles in. I just passed a photographer and had to force a smile. Oh, calorie alarm. Um, I'm pretty close to the aid station, but this heat, man, this heat. So I'm just gonna keep trying to take it a little bit easier save energy for tonight yeah you don't want to come out of there yeah like you're like you're a crispy piece of bacon because you didn't wear enough layers so i think uh i feel you there it's uh it's hard to it's hard to see these guys all covered i'm like aren't they hot but i'm sure they're feeling better with that with that thank you um 
All right, Mr. Grotter, we're gonna come right across the street right here. What's hey. up, buddy? Good to see hey, you. Are you. Awesome. <laughs> well, hey, I'll out. see you again tomorrow. Watch out for the car. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Great to see you. Good volunteers, good aid station. And now we head back out. They say 14 miles to the next one. Deep climb. Oh man. down there pretty soon. <sighs> Do I get some water in here? Okay. You're rad. Thank you so much. No, let's go. Oh, it's scratching you. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Thanks, volunteers. Yeah. Right yeah. See you on the way back. All right. So just left the third aid station. 4.6 miles to the next one. chat just wanting to re-emphasize that Versteeg is wearing Norda which we stand corrected I appreciate you pointing it out are these shots between aid stations two and three or three and four these shots should be I believe between on both sides I think I believe our current shots that you're seeing with our drone is between aid stations three and four. Um, so between Finch Wells and um, Skull Valley. daughter cool yeah man I I took it easy in the heat as much as I could we'll talk to you later honey bye I know that I came in here in a decent amount of time but I really feel like today's been a struggle it was hard in the heat mm -hmm. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm so like, cool. Oh, oh, it's like overall? Oh, really? Hey, Eloy. I'm glad you made it. All right, just left Skull Valley 8 Station. And, uh, 
I don't even know what time it is. It is 7.23. 7.23 p.m. Yeah. With my friend Dave Stinchfield. And uh, we're starting to head back out the out and back. <coughs> it's good that, good that the heat of the day is now behind us. We can enjoy the cool evening. Nice work. Nice job, guys. Nice work, man. Sort of company, dude. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, hey, baby. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, it's so good to be here. Yeah. Yeah. That last section was pain. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All righty. Whiskey Row. Okay. Hey, welcome. Hey. Thanks. Hello. Welcome. Everything's put together. Yeah, I'm on the outside to get moving. Good, good. See you in a little bit, babe. Good job, buddy. Good job. Woohoo! See you in the next one. All right, it's 5.35 a.m. And I just left the Whiskey Rowway Station. <clears throat> Man, I had a good nap and uh, some food, so I'm moving slow right now, but hopefully I'll pick it up as I wake up here. Yay! Nice. You, wanna, you wanna sit? 
Yeah, I like to sit. <laughs> All right, well, I just left the Iron King aid station. And now I'm waiting to cross the road to head up to the Fane Ranch aid station, which is only 5.2 miles away. So I should go fairly fast. Um, but the, the blister underneath my left foot feels like it's growing. So hopefully somebody can take a look at it for the next expedition. No, it's not too bad. All right, your turn. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you need a wheelie. I don't want to pull back on it. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Now I think we're just going to head straight that way. We're heading straight across to a culvert that's gonna go underneath the highway. Watch your head. Ooh, all right. That was fun. Good time. All right, we're at mile 81.3, and uh, I'm 25 hours and 27 minutes in. My buddy Dave Stinchfield and I just left the Fane Ranch aid station, and now we're gonna head up over Mingus Mountain, it's about 12 miles away. Thank God that part's over. <clears throat> that was a slog. All right, now we're on a gravel road for a little bit and we will head up. to Mingus Mountain Camp. See what they got for food. Oh, could I see Leah up there? Yay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. I'm ready for some drinks. Yeah. Food, and I'll probably be here for a minute since I'm gonna eat and hopefully see medic people. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've always seen so There it is. <laughs> This might sting just a tad. It's just the biggest thing with Luco Tape, if you guys reapply this at another aid station, if they gave it to you, is to make sure that there's no seam underneath your foot. No. It's not quiet. Please be careful. Okay, you did it. Success. Success. See you later. Someone got barbed. Okay. See you guys.
some switchbacks and came down and around and uh, that was a big steep descent Beast. and now we are going to start our descent into Jerome all right well that's the official sign left Jerome. Leah is pacing me, so that's pretty fun. I get to spend time with her on the trail. Last year, we remembered all kinds of broken glass, and we wondered if we were hallucinating it, but no. It is all over the place. Okay, we're at the river crossing. We're gonna head across over there. Hi, you ready? Link arms. Oh. Oh. That's gonna be moving pretty fast. Slip on the rock. Okay, we did it. Much more fun. <laughs> okay, and then up we go. Left Dead Horse Ranch State Park. It's about 5 a.m. Sun is just starting to wake up. <clears throat> and now I'm heading 13 miles to Deer Pass. All right, well, the sign is coming up. You can see Jerome. I can imagine there's lots of runners. Coming down into, into Jerome now. We got Mingus Mountain right up there. People are coming down from there as well. Deer Pass, we're here. Yay! Yay! Mm. Oh, yay! <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. That's what I need to do. Is that right there? Yeah. Uh. Yes. I just left the Deer Pass aid station. <clears throat> and now I begin the 14 mile journey to Sedona. I'm excited, I love Sedona. It's gonna be great to see it again. It's such a beautiful place.
place is so fun. Everywhere you look, it's amazing. got West Plate. A lot of fans in the chat of West Plate and his uh, film from last year's Cocodona 250 Journey. So a huge shout out to Wes as he is making his way up to the Sedona Aid Station. You're doing great, man. Thanks, brother. What you been doing? 119. How you feeling, Nick? I'm feeling really good. Yeah? It's been a great day. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I, I flew again through Sedona. Yeah? I so many people. You have to check out. Like, yeah. It is hot. I had to take it really easy, in fact. Just a moment ago, my heart rate was going up. So I'm really concentrating on lowering it and slowing down. But uh, yeah, man, I just wanna let you know, it is hot.
Did you spot. punch me too? Oh, yeah, I was about to. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter to me. How about inside the logo? It's probably because lots of people have used it already. Done with the out and back. Yeah. I'm gonna eat something, have a bite, and then we'll head back out. so well. Yeah, that was a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think I should place it? We were just checking out my feet. Little bit of blister action. So, thank you all for uh, watching the update from Mile 187, Mun Park. You know, somebody asked me what's the plan today, and the plan is to move forward. I don't know how far we'll get, um, but, you know, just keep on, keep on trucking. All right, thanks all for your support. I uh, love you all. You mean a lot to me. Okay, before I cry, I'll just say goodbye. Mine's to Kelly Canyon, 18 yeah. miles. How many? 18. Okay. I love you. I love you. All right, well, I just left uh, Munns Park and we're heading now to Kelly Canyon, 18 miles away. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a long day in the sun. Almost 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday, and it's really warm. <clears throat> I uh, took a little lie down earlier. This is a long segment. I think we have like nine miles left to go or something crazy. <clears throat> well, I'm about six miles to the uh, next aid station. <clears throat> and um, pretty low on water. I think I have about maybe a liter, maybe three quarters of a liter. So I'm rationing and I'm so parched. And because it's so hot and because my feet hurt, I can't move fast. So, these next six miles are probably gonna take two hours. <clears throat> Man. I really can't wait for the next aid station now. I can barely even talk to you. I don't have a piece of those. <laughs> All right, thank you volunteers. Super good, yeah. great to see you again. Bye. I'm on my way. All right, so I'm leaving the Kelly Canyon aid station, heading towards Tut Hill. My feet have been bandaged up and they hurt. 
I will see if I can make some f faster pace. The sun's going to be going down, so I've got eight something miles, 8.4 miles to go to the next one. <coughs> Man, it's really hard for me to breathe. Is that your little drop breathing? Can you tell? It's good to see you too. How are you, man? <laughs> Everything else was just sort of like, okay, I can do that. Here with Wes. Uh, how's it going, Wes? Yeah, it's going pretty good. I don't know if you can hear me. My voice is trashed from well, all the dust and pollen. My allergies um, got really bad. Uh, uh, he's been awarded nicest guy who awarded. came through Aid Station 5. Those are great guys out there. All the volunteers have been wonderful. I love them for love, for giving us the love. Well, Wes, as I mentioned, uh, you've got nothing but love for you in the comments. Uh, uh, good luck. Uh, have a, a great last uh, 38 miles of, of your race or 37 miles of your race, and uh, we'll see you at the finish line. All right. See you guys at the finish line. Thank you. That is the one, the only, the beloved Wes Plate uh, uh, hanging out at Fort Tuttle with about 37, 38 so nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, well, I just left Fort Tut Hill. It's about 11.40 at night, and uh, starting to sound better. I'm just gonna stay hydrated, so hopefully I can keep the mucus out of my lungs and be able to breathe a bit. about 6.32 <clears throat> Friday morning. And uh, according to my watch, I've gone about 232 miles, something like that. I've just left Walnut Canyon. <clears throat> and then um, you can head up Mount Eldon, and then down from Mount Eldon to the finish.
<clears throat> well, I'm low on water again. I didn't bring enough. But the KOA will have some. Then I'll come back and join the trail right here. have a west plate siding up here at Eldon. We're gonna send it to Pete Mortimer for just a second as we catch. Is that west plate up there, Pete? Okay, last eight station is done. Well, you know, I always want these things to end as soon as they start. <laughs> um, but it sucks when it ends too. <sighs> it's been a good, <clears throat> a good adventure. Let's head down the mountain. So most certainly have finish line feed ready to go, but right now we have Wes Plate coming in. And we're gonna send it over to the Shad Cam, as I believe Wes Plate has made the left-hand turn on to Birch. Half a block and a right-hand turn in the alley. I'll leave it out. approaching Cocodona Alley here. Another impressive performance by Wes. Here is Wes Plate, ladies and gentlemen. His second finish here at the Cocodona 250. Absolutely incredible effort here by Wes. A crowd favorite. Super stoked to see Wes at the finish line here. My voice is completely shot. <laughs> 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 